and welcome it's Kathleen from Cos Creations welcome to the no bra zone number two guys I am happy you're here I'm going to be doing a little talking today and I hope you don't mind those of you who don't want to see paint mixing or talk about different paint consistencies I will put a time stamp at the bottom of the screen to tell you where you can go to get rocking and rolling on the painting process but this is a teaching channel this is a channel where I share any and all that I can about my uh, pouring journey and uh, share with you what works for me. That doesn't always necessarily mean it will work for you, but I hope that at least some of these tidbits will. Um, we're getting our piggy on today and we're getting our piggy on and uh, some fluid paints on, but I wanted to start off by showing you how I mix my piggies. Everybody does it differently. Some people use gloss medium. Let me get you an example of that. Here's the closest one I could find. It's a Liquitex and it's a gloss heavy gel. And what can you use this for? A lot of things. How do you use it with your piggies? Once you disperse the pigment using a varnish or alcohol, everybody does it differently. You can thicken up your piggies using this. I do it a little different because we're going to be working on a swipe today. We're going to try to do just a nice minimalistic easy um, landscape swipe. Now, what do I use? Well, I use my piggies because I love my piggies. And how do I disperse them? Generally, I use Josonia gloss varnish, but this girl happens to be out of it. So today I am using polycrylic and I can't tilt it up too much because the lid is open. I also keep on hand. Where are my pipettes? I'm a little unorganized here. Hang on guys. There it is. I use my little pipe bits to put my gloss medium into my pigment. Now we have about a, um, this is a three ounce cup right here. And how I start off guys is very easy. Now it's important Wear a mask if you can. I don't have one on today because this is a lot further down from where my face is, but use a mask. These pigments fly all over the place if you're not careful and you can get them up your nose and your eyes and you got to kind of start off stirring very gingerly so nothing flies up in your face. But I use my Fluid Art Coaster Sticks. I use them for a lot of reasons, guys. They get into my nooks and crannies when I'm stirring my paints or my pigments. Kind of like, you know, 
know the spatulas you use when you're cleaning out your bowl with your uh, with your cupcake or cake batter in it and gets in there and gets all the nooks and crannies? These do the same thing for me, and I apologize for the mess of these. <laughs> I haven't had time to clean them. But this is one of my favorite pigments. This is going to be part of our sky, and this is called Brulee. I start off by getting a big old healthy scoop putting it into my cup, closing this up so those pigments stay nice and fresh in there. And then I take my pipette and I add about equal parts of varnish. For me, it's usually three pipettes. There's one. There's two. And I just kind of Squirt it all around that uh, beautiful pigment. And there's three. Let me put this aside. And then I very, very slowly, guys, start to mix the varnish in to disperse the pigment. Let's take a look at that. See that, guys? Isn't that lovely? And then what I do is I slowly start to add my pouring medium to it. I keep my pouring medium in these jugs. What this is, is I fill it up about halfway with uh, Flood Floetrol. I fill it the rest of the way with Li Liquitex pouring medium. And then I also add my GAC 800 to fill it up. So give this a nice little shake because Floetrol is heavier than Liquitex and GAC and it tends to uh, sink to the bottom. I'm going to add about equal parts pouring medium to the pigment with the varnish in it, and I'm going to give it a good, good stir. Stir left, stir right. I don't know if this is the best pigment to, to um, mix up for you because it's white, but it's white with this beautiful coppery... Uh, iridescence to it. Let's take a look at that. Look at that creamy goodness. Now I know that I can add a little bit more pouring medium to this. Now my pouring medium works perfectly for me with pigments because I want a fluid paint or a fluid pigment because that's how I like my paints and pigments when I'm doing swipes. So once you disperse it with your varnish and you add your pouring medium, in this case, 50% Floetrol, 50% GAC 800, and a big old squirt, excuse me, 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and a big old healthy dose of GAC 800. That is the perfect consistency for me for a swipe. I don't have to add any water to this. I don't have to add anything to thicken it up. And that's absolutely creamy goodness right there, guys. I don't know if you can see that coppery kind of interference color going on there, but this is our brulee. Now, we've got some good paints here. We've got some piggies. We've got some medium body paints. We have a... Uh, a uh, heavier body paint. So all of these paints to the right and left of me were mixed a little bit different. They all got the same amount of paint or pigment. Then they got the same amount of pouring medium and a GAC 800. What was different was the amount of water. Now, all of my piggies didn't take any water. All of my fluid paints did not need any water. What needed water were my medium to heavy body paints. And let's talk about that real quick. Right here we have golden, the Q word, gorgeous color in their burnt orange. Absolutely no water, just paint and pouring medium. Right here is a glorious color. And I hope you can see this because this makes my heart sing, guys. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely scrumptious? scrumptious? That right there are two piggies. One is their cinnamon. 
and one is their Zeus. This is my favorite piggy, guys, right there. So a combination of these two with the varnish and the pouring medium made this color. This is absolutely delicious as well. Look at that. <laughs> I get a lot of joy, guys, playing with these paints. That is this little piggy, and that is their ore mixed with the varnish and my pouring medium. Absolutely no water. This right here is golden fluids in the burnt sienna. Absolutely no water. Why? Because it's a fluid paint. It's more fluid than your tube paints. Right here is one of our base coats. This is Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics in the black. This took some water. Now the soft body acrylics are not a heavy body paint like most tube paints, but it still needed a little bit of water. Right here is our Artist Loft Soft Body in the white. Same amount of pouring medium to paint. This took the most water because the white is, I can't say the word, it's opaque and it needs a lot more water. It's a heavier body paint than the black. Right here, no water, and I'll tell you why. This is Amsterdam, their expert series, and that is their titanium white, and this paint, and only this paint, is mixed with Aussie Floetrol. Let me get the bottle for you. Aussie Floetrol is a thin pouring medium. It's not as heavy as my pouring medium with the Liquitex and the Floetrol and the GAC. This took absolutely no water, the Amsterdam White, with the Aussie Floetrol. This right here, beautiful paint, Amsterdam, their Expert Series, and this is their Turquoise Blue. This took water. It's a medium body paint. It needed water to get down to the consistency of my pigments and my uh, fluid paints. This right here is Amsterdam Expert Series, the uh, Philo Turquoise Blue, but I darkened it up a little bit by adding golden fluids in the bone black. I told you I was going to be a chatty Cathy, guys. This is glorious. I got to see if you can see this. Look at that teal, beautiful, beautiful shimmer. That is this little piggies, also one of my favorites. That is their tail feather. This right here, another piggy <laughs> that makes my heart sing, guys. That right there is this little piggy, and that is their frost. All my paints will be listed in the description box. If you have any questions, if I have made your head spin, please don't hesitate to reach out um, either in the messages or you can email right there. Part of my horizon line, guys. That is this little piggy and that is their galaxy. Now, another thing I do, oh, and then this little guy right here, just in case I want to use them, this is just more of our Artist Loft soft body in the black. I found these little guys when I was cleaning things up and I was like, let's go ahead and use them. Now, um, I've been painting for two and a half years, but every once in a while I do a drip test. And it's not a bad habit to get into when you're using a bunch of different body paints because it's just a good habit to get into. So we're going to do a real quick drip test on some of these paints. This is a fluid paint. And I'm going to put a small little dab right there. This is a pigment, and I'm going to put a little dab of the same amount right there. This is a tube paint, which feels like it's a little bit heavier. And I'll tell you, Base coats always get me. If anything, I like my base coat just a little bit thinner than my other paints. It's okay if it's the same consistency as your other paints. I look at my base coat as just a slick surface for my colors to travel across. So thin to me is better than thick.
And there we go. Let's go ahead and tilt this and see how we did. Pretty darn close, I would say, guys. The blue might need just a splash more water, but when you're using different paints with different densities, different bodies of paint, it's always a good idea to do a, uh, a drip test. Uh, before you start throwing that paint down on the canvas, I mean, I just spent an hour mixing these guys up and I'm hoping to make a really pretty painting out of them. One other thing I wanted to talk about is this is going to be a landscape swipe. The upper area is going to be my sky, the part closest to you. I'm painting, remember, you're looking at me upside down. This is going to be our coppers and our golds and our burnt sienna and cinnamon colors and a little bit of red color. Um, I want my base coat to be black up here. If you put a white base coat down, once I start swiping it, that white's going to come up and I don't want any white in my in my sky. Down here we're using a white base coat. The white base coat's going to blend beautifully with my blues. All of these colors, if I have four colors lined up for my um, my ocean and my water, by the time I'm blending and swiping, I've got nine different colors because of the way these colors marry up and blend together. So what else? I think that's it, guys. I'm sorry about the chattiness, but once again, these are all questions that people ask me, and this is my best resource to share and answer those questions. Guys, let's put some music on. Let's get busy. My heart away went a bit too far. So wrong. Oh no, open up my soul. But babe, how could I know you're cold? Shame on you. Ooh, ooh, should have seen what you were like. Dangerous nice. You got me.
what's your type? So now I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. Heart away, went a bit too far. 